We want to honor God because He sees everything. You were born with a plan and a purpose. He's the God of all things possible. He's the God of all miracles. Grace, Grace with Nina and Michelle. I'm Michelle Humphreys. And I am Nina Keegan. Today we have a very special guest. We've had him on the show before. You guys are going to want to stick around. You're going to want to hear from him. Michelle, you want to do the, the intro? We are introducing Hercules. The Hercules, number one actor in the world, really. Uh, when he was doing Hercules, it was the most watched. Uh, he also, st he's a producer. He is known for his Christian movies, God is Not Dead, Let There Be Light. He has a ton of Christian movies and most recently wrote a book called Bare Essentials of Fatherhood. And he has two new movies. Welcome, Kevin Sorbo. Good to be here. Good to be here. Still living the life. I just got done with my workout. It's been a busy day today. I have an hour and a half window between other interviews and stuff and then yours. So I, I, I still work out. I'm an old dude now, but I'm still working out. So people, no excuse. You can find an hour every day. Amen. That'll preach. So we're so grateful. Thanks for coming back on the show. You know, we know you and Sam are, your wife, are movers and shakers. You know, not only in the Christian world, you're just doing things as patriots for the kingdom. You know, you have, you're homeschooling your kids. I know your last one just recently graduated. You guys, you cannot fake good kids. They have great kids. You know, so they're, they're living proof of doing these great things for the Lord. When Hollywood was done with you, you didn't sit there and take it. You are, they don't want Christians in Christian movies. So you guys have just stood up and you are all over the map. Tell us everything that's going on. What are you doing? Well, you know, I mean, the, the, I'm, I'm the new in, in the closet in Hollywood. We used to be the gays were in the closet afraid to come out. <laughs> now Christians and conservatives are afraid to come out. And I happen to be both, but I'm not afraid to come out. And that was enough to piss them off, and they booted me out, which is hilarious to me. And uh, so my wife and I formed Sorbo Studios, and we're doing our own thing. Um, I, I, I've been directing a lot, producing a lot, acting a lot. A lot of other independent producers come to me with their with their movies as well. So, uh, you know, yeah, I'm not doing these big, uh, you know, big TV shows or getting a chance to be in big movies anymore, but. Um, you know, we're doing movies that make a difference in people's lives, and I get stopped all the time, and people say, keep doing what you're doing. We know that Hollywood is after you. It's weird, though. You know, it's weird this anger and hatred that's out there, this divisiveness, because I don't harbor that towards people of different point of view. I really don't. I don't get I – mean, these people just get – crazy mad at you and just attack you and they want you dead because you don't agree with their point of view um which we all know is bented and twisted and untrue anyway but um i'm, I'm here to fight back and do movies that hollywood used to do movies well, that have hope we're Love really proud of you kevin That's you're doing. you're doing such a great job and you know sometimes you the people that hate you, uh, you're known by the people who hate you and you want to be hated by that crowd because it's it's everything that you're not. And, and we are just so amazed at, at what you guys are doing. So tell us about your your new movies. I got two coming out in August. August 2nd is the first one coming out. We got 2,000 screens on that one. It's called The Firing Squad. So go to Firing Squad Film. Dot com for all the information, see the trailer. It's a true story set in an Indonesian prison. I play a guy, you hear his backstory. We, 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 we didn't go back and hire an actor to make me look like I was 26 or something <laughs> again, but he was in his 20s there. He was surfing off the shores of Indonesia and he saw some guy flirting with his uh, girlfriend and he got on shore. He went and picked a fight with a guy and he killed him. True story, he killed the guy. He wow. got life in prison. He got the death penalty in an Indonesian prison. Um, not a Christian, not a, you know, just, just an angry guy just still trying to find his way in the world. Kind of like Antifa members, right? So, um, he, uh, he found God while he was in prison and he became a pastor 
and he was preaching and he saved a lot of inmates' souls. He saved a lot of guards' souls. He was finally executed 30 years later um, in uh, 2015. He was executed. Wow. As recently. And it's a true story. Cooper Gooding Jr. is in it as well. Um, he was great in it. And then um, the other movie is the is the Reagan movie I did with Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid plays the president. And I play his pastor in the movie. And that comes out August 30th. So uh, staying busy. Just doing a lot of stuff. I got three other movies in post-production. I got three movies booked. I started filming one in July, one in August, and a Christmas movie. We're going to start in November. So, uh, and three documentaries coming out, two this year and one next next Easter. Kevin, God. do you have a large staff? <laughs> I have me, my wife, and one assistant. <laughs> Oh well, my goodness. Praise God. You know what? But here's the here's the thing. Think what the enemy has meant for harm, God is using for abundant good. The 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 people are desiring this Christian content. People are boycotting movies, boycotting wow. the Oscars, boycotting all of these things and and craving Christian content. And you know, so think about Got you got out, you got out of Hollywood. I know you live in Florida yeah. now. You know, you know, I have this quote from you that um, you you said you were on a talk show one time where someone said to you, you've got a lot of influence. You better be careful what you do in your life because one screw up and you're not going to be forgiven. And that's just outrageous to me because if you look, you know, the Christians, the conservatives, we're not forgiven of these things. And, you know, so people are saying that to us, but they have this multitude of overlooking all of the evil, the mainstream media, et cetera. But I love what your answer was to that. Do you remember? <laughs> well, I, I basically said, I find it amazing to me that in a world of Christians that, um, and I have atheist friends, agnostic friends, and they've said this to me before. He says, yeah, you Christians are so unforgiving. I said, you know, there's a percentage that is that way. I think most of them are forgiving, but you're right. There are Christians out there that are so holier than thou, and they think that their way of life is also better than the evil out there right now. We're supposed to be the most forgiving. Amen. We're supposed to be there to set an example of, of the light of God, you know, and, and not the anger and hate that the, that, they, that the left is doing through Antifa and through BLM and all this kind of stuff. Um, I, I, it just, it, I, I just laughed at when this guy, when he said it to me, it was actually in the green room at the Crystal, uh, Christian, the, uh, Crystal Cathedral in Orange oh County. Goodness. Wow. And I just thought, really? I said, I'm not perfect. Are you a perfect person? None of us are perfect. What and, did he say? Uh, you know, uh, he just kind of stared at me, and I, 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 just, <laughs> I, I just, you know, what what is what's he going to come back with me at? I just, I just told, I said what he said was absolutely ridiculous and ludicrous. But um, unfortunately, what he did say, there is a percentage of people out there of faith that are that way. That I'm, I'm better than you mentality, and we're not better than anybody. We just have, we just have. Um, the the guiding light of God and Jesus to to, to forgive our sins because we sin every single day. It doesn't matter how big or small a sin is, a sin is a sin. Amen. And I think there are miracles every day out there where people just don't pay attention because they think a miracle means you're supposed to walk on water. But there's uh, you know there's a lot of I hear so many stories about people in hospitals where doctors say yeah they, you know they're going to die in three months and they lived another twenty years. Amen. And I don't know how this happened. Well you know prayer is a powerful thing. And uh, you, you, you pray in groups, a lot of wonderful things can happen. You're not always going to get a yes. God never promised any of us an easy life. There's always going to be roadblocks in life. But most people, when they have that one roadblock or one failure, they just give up on life. And these are the ones that become Antifa members. These are the ones that ride in streets. These are the ones you're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself, but they don't love themselves. They don't even like themselves. They look in the mirror, hate what they see, and they want to drag you and me into that dark black hole that they live in. Their hate towards me does nothing to me. That's right. And, and you have yeah. stood up I, I, and so I strong. I find amazing people on Twitter. My, my son tells me some of the stuff people say. And I go... These people just wait for me to post. If I don't like somebody, I don't follow them. I don't have time to. These people must be so bored in their lives. And to, to, to wait for me to post something to say negative something about me, I'm going, wow. Well, if, my, if I'm such a has-been and such a, such a, a, such a, um, a, a failure in life, I'm, I'll take it. You know, I'm <laughs> yeah. shooting movies every year. Um, you know, I live a good life. So if that's a bad life compared to whatever lives they lead, I'll take the life I got. Amen. And with that, we're going to come right back. We're going to take a quick break. Stay right there. You are watching Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. When I started my pillow, it was just a problem solution, one product company. 
Well, since then, with the help of my dedicated employees, we now have hundreds of products, some you might not even know about. To get the word out, we're having a $25 extravaganza. Two-pack multi-use My Pillows, $25. My Pillow Sandals, $25. And for the first time ever, our six-pack towel sets, you guessed it, just $25. Our brand new four pack dish towels, $25. And I've never done this before. Premium My Pillows with all new Giza fabric, any size, any loft level, even king size for only $25. And there's so much more. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code for our $25 extravaganza. Order $75 and over. Your entire order ships absolutely free. Welcome back. You are watching Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle and our special guest, Kevin Sorbo, talking all things Jesus, Christian, politics, everything. So, Kevin, politics, how crazy are things happening right now? And again, seeing what the devil meant for harm. Look at Trump. Look at all his indictments, raising $400 million. You know, people are not stupid What to what's going on here. What do you say about all of this? I know you're at a lot of the Trump fundraisers. You're at a lot of the things. We see you at these things. Tell us. What well, it's... I, 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 I watch some of these polls that come in. I'll flip through MSNBC and CNN and Fox. I'll flip through them all. And I just get a kick out of these things. And I say that his approval rating is low, but it's still like 40 percent. I don't believe it's even that. I heard some say it's 33. But who are these people? Exactly. Who are these people that, that I want to meet them. And not to have a fight, not to have an <laughs> argument. I want to actually are sit down sure, and go, are you sure, Hercules? Tell me how he's a better president than anybody. I mean, he's the guy's worst president we've ever, ever had. And look what he's done to the country. Look what he's done to the world. And if President Trump had pulled out of Afghanistan and left 40 or $80 billion of our military equipment behind, the press would have been just relentless in attacking exactly. us. Exactly, yes. He does it, and what, we had 13 soldiers dying, another 30, 40 that were lost arms and legs, and shh, don't say anything about it. This guy, he's, he's totally incompetent. You know Obama's pulling the strings behind it all because I feel almost bad for Biden because he's at an age now where he can't even remember where he is. And it's sad. We make jokes about it, but the reality is this guy's, it's just, he, he's not coherent at all. And it's quite sad. I'm looking forward to these debates. But to sit there and say this guy's a good president, everything he did has made the country worse. Gas was a buck eighty a gallon. It went to seven dollars a gallon. It's still seven bucks in California for some reason. Somebody was telling me the other day, and I'm looking at this going. We were energy independent. We were we had the lowest. Our crime rate was getting, going down. One point four million people across the border in four years compared to fifteen million today. We've let hundreds of thousands of terrorists into this country. Do you realize we're we are setting up, and it's on purpose. We're they're setting yes. up. With these terrorists, there's going to be a massive 9-11 happening in 30 cities at the same time somewhere yep. down the road. And then liberals will blame it on Trump somehow, apparently. But it's just it's unbelievable what's going on in the world right now. And it's, then stay in power. Well, Do you think they'll use true. these things to stay in power? You know, because yeah. because it'll be a wartime president or something to that effect. You know these things are Exactly. Planned. And now you have Putin with a submarine down in Cuba that could yeah. have a hypersonic missile and all... Biden wants to do is talk about abortion and now amnesty for all the people that are illegally in our country. Why is it? Why is it every election, every other, every two years there's elections going on that either the number one or number two biggest thing with Democrats is we want to be able to kill human babies. We want to kill human life. It's murder. I don't care what exactly. people say. Yep. They've had 50 years of brainwashing people on this whole abortion thing. These are human lives. We're we are, the Democrats love child sacrifice. It is pathetic and it's sick and it's it's so Demonic. bizarre. It's yeah, yeah, it's just they'll they'll say they'll trap them, you know, they'll hug a tree, they'll they'll want to kill you for eating a sea turtle egg, but you know, <laughs> I want to kill a baby. Why not why don't we do it? They love murder. They are the they are the violent, violent, violent 
political party out there. And the 85,000 missing children that nobody can account for, where are those children? Yeah. Nobody seems to be caring about that crisis. And then again, to your point about, oh, pro-women when they're gonna be killing babies, but what about the pro-women when it comes to sports? When all these girls who, who cannot you know, have their scholarships or win these things because they let guys in there, then they're not about the women when it comes to these things. And you know, I know you have a daughter and I, you know, I know it's like you, you just have got to be wondering, you know, like these days, like what, the, what, what is happening with girls and women, what they're doing and people going missing. It's, it's just terrible what's been allowed and what people are covering up for them in this country. Yeah. Shame on the parents. Seriously. Yes. When, you got, when you got these transgenders coming in to compete against your daughter mm -hmm. in softball, swimming, basketball, whatever it may be, and you allow it to happen, you just kind of shrug your shoulders. And I know there's a lot of them out there that hate it and disagree with it. Well, then speak up. Stop being such a sheep. Wake the hell up. Take your kids out. Have your own athletic club with girls. Yeah. There was an excellent interview with a transgender who said, why don't you all you transgenders just compete against each other? And then the girl said, well, then I would, I would lose my advantage. So they, <laughs> they already know because they're male that they're going to have an advantage over these women. But, you know, we can't say that. Why can't we say that? Well, why it's, can't we say that? You it, know, it's, it, it's very true. Yeah. I mean, well, you're, even I, Democrats you're feel silenced like and you're the shut up. transgender movement ha is going too far. You know, we're, they're starting yeah. to lose their own party to this transgender movement. Well, why are we giving so much credence and such a loud voice to less than one half of a half a percent of the population? I don't get it. I mean, look, Pride Month, it, it pisses me off. Give them a day. I'm fine with that. <laughs> why does I, veterans get one day? Yes, exactly. Pride gets a month? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, it makes no sense to me. Give them a day. Fine. Give them a day. I don't care if somebody's gay. I don't. I could care less. I, I've been in the industry 40 years. I work with gay people in every single set I've been on. You won't find one in 40 years in this business that said he was so mean. He was so homophobic, which makes me doesn't mean fear of gays. I'm not afraid of gays. But the whole thing is I'm not. I could I could care less. I, 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 I treat them all the same. I treat everybody the same on the set. I want to have a fun set. I want to open set. But to sit there and to give them an entire month makes no sense to me. Our veterans are the ones that have made us be yes. able to have a pride month. Made us be, we have, our laws are based on what the Bible says. And now we want to get rid of the Bible. We did that in 1964. It's only gotten worse since then. And it's just, it's just, I know the list goes on and on. It gets exhausting. But I'll tell you what, what you guys are doing, what I'm doing, we have to keep fighting the fight. Yep. We have to keep we, the voice we, going out there. We do Because they're have coming to. after all of us. And we, people who are saying that you're going to get shut down if you're the church or a show like ours or whatever because, because you're talking about Jesus, so be it. Because we're, you know what, God's going to, you know, look to us if we're going to answer to him if we were silent. Well, wow. true. And we want to make sure that we're standing on the word right. always. And we... We love the sinner, we hate the sin. And exactly. so we, we yeah. definitely want them to repent and get right with the Lord. And with that, we'll come back to Kevin Sorbo. When I started my pillow, it was just a problem solution, one product company. Well, since then, with the help of my dedicated employees, we now have hundreds of products, some you might not even know about. To get the word out, we're having a $25 extravaganza. Two pack multi use my pillows, $25. My pillow sandals, $25. And for the first time ever, our six pack towel sets, you guessed it, just $25. Our brand new four pack dish towels, $25. And I've never done this before. Premium my pillows with all new Giza fabric, any size, any loft level, even king size for only $25. And there's so much more. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code for our $25 extravaganza. Order $75 and over. Your entire order ships absolutely free. Welcome back to Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. We are talking to Kevin Sorbo, and we were just talking about God and government. What you got, Kevin? Well, you know, it, it's interesting that, you know, our current government... Um, they don't believe in God because they think they are God. And when you saw what they did during COVID, when they closed down churches, they closed down the schools. But, hey, 
Keep the strip clubs open. Keep the liquor stores open because they're essential. They're telling you God is not essential. Our country was founded on Judeo-Christian values. Our constitution was written by godly men, God-fearing men. And now we've got plaques on all the Ivy League schools dating back hundreds of years. And now these students there want those plaques off because it talks about God. Our, our, our laws came from the Bible. You know, our, our Constitution came from the Bible. Our rights came from the Bible. It's amazing to me we fight back. One of the blessings of COVID was that, I think we may have talked about this, is that two million more families woke up and realized how crappy our public schools are. They pulled their kids out and two million more families are now homeschooling. So thank God that backfired on the government, at least for that part. But for them to close down churches, they're telling you that God is an essential. And the only similarity that God and government has is the first two letters, G-O. After that, they are polar miles apart from each other. Well, and a couple of weeks ago in Davos, we had the WHO trying to take American sovereignty along with the world's so that they can be in charge. Uh, oh, yeah. basic, basically establishing a global government. And none of these people are elected. We saw how they were during COVID. And to your point, it was a disaster. And yeah. God was left out of everything. And like your movie says, God is not dead. And he, he will not be mocked. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's the thing about that. Like, if you think about everything, I, I, this is a time of exposure. You know, if you think about if, if, if Trump had walked in, in the 2020 election, like we know we should have. Um, sure. It would have been 10 more impeachments and everybody's saying, see, Biden would have been so much better. God is, is using this to expose all the evil, even in our own party, because the corruption and the evil that were surrounding him that we're portraying to be, you know, a, a good conservative Republican, that we're even in his own party, that we're throwing him under the bus. So, you know, it's not, it's not going to be wasted. All of these things got exposed. Now everybody knows what the real agenda was. And yeah. hopefully more and more people wake up to this. And so people are going to be running. You know, God is shaking things. They're running to Christian content, Christian movies, Christian, you know, everything to, to find out about God, because this is what the shaking is about for God to, th this all to be used for good and so people to come to the Lord. So, you know, hats off to you guys who are out there fighting this fight because we know it's not easy, especially because, you know, you, you know the things that have happened in Hollywood and, and, and you know, people um, need to know how they can help fund what you're doing. And if you have links that you can share with some of that, because that's the hard part too, is getting funding for your mm -hmm. movies and what's happening. So, you know, it's just, it's, it's just night and day difference what's happening, you know, from one side to the other. And they've got the media, they've got everything. So. Yeah, well, you know what? The best place to go is sorbostudios.com. That's sorbo, S-O-R-B-O, studios.com. It's my wife's site along with my site. Um, you know, I do movies in the $3 million range. People go, that's a lot of money. That's not in Hollywood. That's a three three million dollars in a movie. That's catering budget on movies like <laughs> Avengers and you know Pirates of the Caribbean and things like that. Those are three hundred million dollar movies that we're competing against. But we, so we need people's support and people need to go up and show up these movies. Yeah. And Firing Squad opens FiringSquadFilm.com when it opens in theaters on August second. We need to fill up those theaters opening weekend because Holly. I mean, the theater owners don't care what they show. They want to sell popcorn and sodas. They don't care what movies they're showing. So if the latest hate-filled movie with negative messages is getting millions of dollars every week, they'll keep putting that in there. So we need people to get out of their, get out of their chairs at home and go fill up these movie theaters because that's the only way to keep them in there. We got to fight on our hands and we, we got to not be afraid. We need people to fight back and not be afraid. So um, SorboStudios.com is the place to go. We got a president for nine years. They've been attacking him every single day. Yes. And they keep looking for dirt, dirt, dirt. And a little bit of, we got 10,000 times more dirt on Biden and his family. Yes. They can't find anything on Trump's kids. Yes, he's been married like three times, but they can't find any dirty stuff. Look, his kids are all great. Yes. I've met them all. They're wonderful, wonderful yes. kids. And it's just, it's amazing to me when, before he announced his election, he's going to run back in 2015, we announced it. They all loved them. They all yep. wanted them on. The, they, they said, come to our talk show. Do a cameo on my movie or TV show. They loved them. The minute he went it, nobody's been attacked like this guy. He's getting, he, he got all these, what, 34 counts for a misdemeanor, something that had its, had its um, 
Uh, should it not even been in, in there? It already reached uh, its limit. The statute years of ago? limitations. Yeah. Even a guy in CNN, a guy in I can't remember which one it was. He's one of the big guys there. He said if this was anybody other than Donald Trump, this wouldn't even be a jury case. That's even exactly like Alan right. Dershowitz and some of these Democrat lawyers are saying this is corrupt. It's evil. It's, it's a joke. And we got this jackass lawyer, or, or well, they're, they're lawyers too, but the judge up there in New York City that re rewrote the whole jury system. Yeah. We got all these different things. If four of you agree instead of 12, we'll, we'll call that as unanimous. It's unbelievable. This guy should be in prison. What kind of a judge is he? He's not a judge. You're, you're all, exactly right. Is just, you're, we are now we're moving into Marxist territory right you, now. We are in Marxist waters right now, and, and yeah. we have to yeah. stand up right now and... Uh, First and foremost, we need to stand up for God. Secondly, we need you to go to the movies and support Kevin and Sam Sorbo's movie. Uh, the, to both movies that are coming up, The Firing Squad and Reagan, coming up to a theater near you. Make sure you call your family and friends. Get on Sorbo.com and support the Sorbos. Number one way to communicate is through movies, according to George Barna, who is uh, so solid in his numbers. So yes. support what they're doing. The, these are people of God, and, and they're really doing a great work. We're there's, so proud of you guys. Standing up to evil, and we're grateful to have you. Also, Sam's uh, TV show podcast, Patriot.tv, correct? Yeah, and, it's General and, Mike Flynn's podcast now, pretty much what the Blaze is doing, pretty much what uh, um, they're doing at the Daily Wire. It's Patriot.tv. And my wife is um, Monday through Friday, 4 to 5 uh, Eastern Standard Time. It's 4 to 5. She's on right now as we're speaking right now. So uh, check it out. It's pretty good. You guys good, are a power amazing. couple. Yeah, you guys are movers and shakers for Jesus, and we love it, and we are grateful that you came on. We love to hear all these. This is good. This is giving people hope. Uh, we need more people like you. Keep doing what you're doing. You want to quick say a quick prayer for our viewers? 30 seconds. I would love to. You got 30 seconds. All right. Dear Jesus, please give people the power. Please give them the power yes. not to be filled with fear. Give them, the, give them the, the, the confidence that they need. We need the sheep to become lions and the lions to wake up, Lord. Amen. Give us that. That, that, that to realize that the only person who's supposed to fear is you. We need the Christians to get up and vote. We need everybody yes. to vote. Please do not let fear keep you back. Yes. Don't let doubt keep you back. In God's name I pray, amen. Amen. And hallelujah. Thank you, Kevin. God bless you and all that you're doing. Send us your links. We're gonna make sure they get everywhere and we're just grateful for you. God bless you. RDOF uses logic and reasoning. RDOF has empowered my sons to defend their faith with facts. If you want to be equipped to defend against the biggest objections to the existence of God, RDOF is the place for you. Has science really ruled out God? Is faith at war with science? If you want to be equipped to respond to these claims and more, check out RDOF.org. The evidence he presents is so powerful and overwhelming. Incredibly compelling, yet easily understandable. We believe in rationality, we believe in reason, we believe in science, and we believe in the existence of God. I would leave every event with a mind-boggling awe and assurance. I never believed in God. I just think it was craziness. RDOF confirmed my faith. RDOF confirmed my uh, full belief, full faith in the Lord, man. The appearance of design in the universe is undeniable. The lights, the crowd, the videos. To book a presentation or watch our free videos, go to rdof.org or find us on Facebook at RDOF Events.